Right now I'm going to show you how to do two things. The first of which is how to load jQuery anywhere using a bookmarklet. The second is how I created the bookmarklet. So I'm going to start off by going to the menu, going to bookmarks, and click show bookmarks bar because my bookmarks bar is not already showing. Now I'm going to direct your attention to this link right here, jQueryify. And you'll notice below this YouTube video in the notes section there's a link to this blog so you can try this out for yourself. I'm going to take this link and drag it into the bookmark bar. It's important to note that I did not select the text and then drag the text which sometimes happens accidentally while you're clicking. If you do that it won't work. However, now that I've got it in my bookmarks bar I can use it as a bookmarklet. So I'm going to go to Tools and JavaScript Console so that we can see it working. I'm going to go ahead and click on jQueryify. We can see jQuery loaded. And if I look at the Network tab, we can see that it loaded there as well. And actually, this will work on any site. So let's go, for example, to yahoo.com. Here I'll open up the Developer Console again from Tools. JavaScript console. I'll verify that jQuery doesn't already exist. I'll load it and now we can see that it does. And since I'm feeling a little immature today, I'm going to make a sarcastic remark. Okay. Now that we can see that it works, I want to show you how. I'm going to make this window a little smaller and scroll down on the page. So here are the contents of my bookmarklet. I simply define a variable JS, create a script element, attach an event listener to the load, and then I use the Google CDN for jQuery. The nice thing about the Google CDN is that it will load on both HTTPS and HTTP sites, which the default jQuery CDN will not. That element gets appended to the document, and then when it loads, the event fires. That's simple enough. So I'm going to take and copy this code. I'm going to search JS Minifier. And from the first hit here, I'm going to paste in my code, select that the level of compression is aggressive so it leaves absolutely no white space, or rather no new lines, and then copy the output and paste it as a string back into my console here. I'm going to use single quotes since I used double quotes exclusively inside of the script. And now I have the script as a string. From there, I'm going to call encode URI on it. And now it's completely usable as a link. I'm going to go to yahoo.com again and this time I'll type javascript colon and paste in the URL encoded script. Now if I go to tools, javascript console, I can see the jQuery was in fact loaded when I did that. The last step is simply to turn that link into a regular anchor link. So I'll inspect the element here and show you exactly what I've got. Edit as HTML. Right here where the ref is, is where I paste in that JavaScript link. And there we are. I've recreated the bookmarklet. If this was useful for you, please go ahead and give that little thumbs up button a nice click. Also, you'll see the notes are in the comments section down below. You can either at the end of the article or right up at the top. Give it a like, tweet, plus one, whatever. Thanks.